Hey guys, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how I made these cute little stick pins um, and maybe some little paper clips and things. But they're so easy and so cute and they add so much interest. Even though the ones that I'm making are not meant to like be removable, they're meant to be, you know, to be stuck in there to stay. Um, there's just something, I don't know, sweet and vintage looking about them. So I was playing around and I got carried away and I did something. <laughs> I added something to my mini album here and I thought, oh, psh, Jen, you should have recorded it. So I'm going to have to show you guys how I made this cute little stick pin with the charm on the end. This is the mini everlasting um, printable mini album template that we've been working on. I will link this playlist below as well. So... It's really, 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 there we go, it's going, why is that stuck? It's really simple to make these little stick pins. So let me just scoot this out of the way. And let me just pull in some things. It's the stick pin part, you know, I really looked around for different things because I thought it would be fun to, to use different um, things. So um, I saw these floral pins which are awesome. Look how long they are. And they have the cool little, um, let me find something. Let me get something so you can see better. So they have these cool little, that wasn't, that didn't help you, did it? <laughs> let me if I scoot in a little closer. So they have these cool little crystals on the end. Can you see? We go they got these little crystals on the end so those are fun these are like in the floral departments um this one um this is a doris brand but they're pretty cheap and you get a hundred of them so these you can make really long but just remember that you can always cut these down a little bit if they're too long so there's those those are fun and then there's tea pins um i'm gonna show you some really uh, cool ways to use the tea pins. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of their box. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a couple out of here. Okay, and then uh, there's like things like these stick pins. This is a Maya Road stick pin. It has a little crystal. Uh, Tim Holtz has uh, paper clips that have the little crystal on the end. Um, those would be cute for paper clips as well. But um, I don't think I used any of these in any of my samples. I don't think I did, um, but I pulled them out of my stash because I wanted you to see, you know, that there's different things you can use. And then all of these are jewelry findings, head pins. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but they have like different bases. Like that's just a ball on the end. And then that's got a little bit more of a decorative tip. And then that's got like a bigger decorative tip. And then there's your standard, you know, flat head pin. I'm sure they have an exact name, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's just got the little flat head. And then there's the kind that have the loop on the end. So let me see. Um, I guess I can kind of make one using everything. Hopefully I can make different ones. Let me get one of these longer, is that, what's that called, an eye pin, is that what that's called? You can also use regular straight stick pins that have like the pretty, um, let me show you one <clears throat> that I've made. Um, it just had like the, what's that look like, um, like a pearl end. So you could use just something that simple to make a pretty little stick pin. So, um, let's see, I think I'll use, I'll try one of these. I could have swore I had one open, but that's okay. Some of them are longer than others. You can get them in different lengths, obviously. So, and then I'm gonna grab one of these round ones. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna use the My Road stick pins, but um, I did wanna get them out so you could see them. Okay, so let me first show you how I made this one that we actually put on our book, um, on our covers the other day. So that one was just using this little round, the one with the little round ball. I'm hoping you can see that pretty well. 
And then, um, scoot those out of the way a little bit. And then here is the different jewelry findings. These aren't jewelry findings, the different beads. <laughs> I don't need those right now. But this is the string of, I guess they're just little, little metal charm bead thingies. Where did I get these at? I think I either got these, is it gonna focus? I either got these at Michael's or Joann's. I'm, I'm, um, I'm leaning more towards Michael's. I don't know. I could be, it could have been Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but they're pretty colorful, right? So all I did was I, I, I got these. These are from Metal Gallery. And then I got these. And these are just all different fun. It looks kind of like if it'll focus. Looks like antique antique silver kind of look. Um, these are just different shapes and sizes of little, you know, silvery antique looking beads. Same thing, metal gallery. So I just took them off their string and I put them in a little dish here. So I'm going to set those aside as well. So all I did was some of these beads, like if you was just to stick this bead um, on there, it could go all the way through because that ball's not that big. This one, it didn't do that, but I need to make sure it's focusing. But really, it's as simple as taking one of these little beads, let's just grab a silver bead, like that. So that's what you got on the end, right? Nothing fancy. And then picking out one of these, let me pick one that will go with the album we're making. Um, here's one, like a pink color here, and thread that on there, right? And let me look at it again. And then you can either take another silver bead on here, like that, or, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Why does it not look right? Oh, I picked the wrong silver beads. That's why. <laughs> Some of them, you know, sit better than others, so you just need to kind of pay attention to which ones you're picking. Is that one better? There we go, that one's better. So after I get these threaded on here, I'll show you again. And then this one. If I did it again, I'm gonna be, no, there we go. So then now I've got this, right? So basically that's it, right? So then I've got these little, they're like seed beads, and I'm not sure if they came on, they didn't come on these strings, but they did come on something that I have, and I don't remember. They're just little clear. I, I doubt you'll be able to see that, maybe. So they're just little clear seed beads. And I feel like I also need to tell you guys that this is not for jewelry. This is not something you should wear. <laughs> I am not a jewelry maker, so I don't want anybody to make something and then be like, you know, Jennifer showed us how to do this and it fell apart. This is not for jewelry. So, jewelry. <laughs> this is just for crafts, just for your mini albums. Um, so now I'm going to take some glossy accents. No big deal. A lot of us have it. You can get it anywhere, just about. And I'm going to pull that little seed bead away just for a sec. Then I'm going to put a dab. I'm going to make sure the camera focuses. Come on, camera. We can do this. There we go. So I'm going to put a little dab. Well, that looks like a lot, but since it dries clear, um, it won't be seen. And then you just want to slide that little seed bead down onto it, right? And then I just take a clip, whatever I have sitting close by, and I just clip it, whoops, I just clip it tight so that that glossy accents has time to dry, right? So then I literally just set it aside because the clip helps keep it up off of anything so it's not going to get stuck. So that is one way so that's this one that's how I made this little guy and this little guy from the giveaway album actually that might be exactly no it's pretty close but 
and then that little guy, and then even this one here that I've got on the insert right there. So those are all made exactly the same way. Cute, right? And then I have, here's another example of one that I made using the floral pick, right? So easy, cute, simple, very little supplies needed. I mean, and it's adorable. It's just, it's just sweet. I like it, right? So that's easy. Let's see, what else? I want I had so many things I wanted to show you guys. Oh, let's do one with the T-pin. The T-pin, let's do, if it, is it gonna focus? <laughs> My camera is not happy today. So now we're gonna do one with this little T-pin. I, I don't know what they're really used for, but I thought it would be fun to take one of these wood embellishments. This one says, uh, Forever Friends, right? This is the Lucky Dip Wooden Flourish Pack. So then I'm going to take the Fabri-Tac by Beacon and I'm going to put just a little bit on this piece of trim like that. Then I'm going to lay this little T-pin down onto that just like that. Then I'm going to put some more Fabri-Tac. And the reason I'm using Fabri-Tac is because it grabs it really fast. And with something like this, um, I tried to do it with the glossy accents and it didn't want to hold. So, and it took forever to dry. Whoa. And it took forever to dry. So, let me see if I can get that off of there. So now we got something that looks like that. Isn't that cute? So just real simple. It's finished on both sides. Right, so let me show you one that, let me put a clip on it. I'm gonna put a clip on it while it dries, just in case. Whoops, and then it slid. <laughs> Fabri-Tac dries pretty quick, but, um, or grabs it pretty quick, but I wanna make sure, maybe I should put two clips on here. Okay just for it to hold for a second, but I've already made one, so let me show you what it looks like when it's dry. So here is the dry one, right? Isn't that cute? And if there's not, you know, there's really no space in between because of that Fabri-Tac. So there's another one that can be stuck on a, um, on a tag or something. So cute. And then let's see. Oh, let me put this one over here with this one. Um, Ooh, another one that you can do with the T-pin is, where is? Okay, so these are the uh, new build embellishment uh, templates or printables that I have. And um, I'm gonna cut one of these bows out because we sprayed it, you know, and I know it matches this um, project that we're working on right now. So, let me, I'm going to go ahead and trim this out and then I'll be right back. I'm going to ink it up too, so you don't have to sit there and watch all that. But I'm going to trim it and ink it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I got them cut out and I inked them up a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put this sucker together just like I was, um, making it to attach it to my album. I'm gonna put a little piece of score tape to close it up right there. Oops. Let's 
So I'm just going to stick that there. And I'm going to remove the backing off of there. Is it fuzzy? No, it's okay. I can't tell. I'm trying to keep you guys close so you can see, but... <clears throat> okay, so then you just want to fold them, right? Bam. Bam. Okay. I got off a little bit, but we're just going with it. So normally, you would just go ahead and attach it right down right there, right? And you'd have your cute little bow. So now what we're going to do is we're, you can either take the T-pin and glue it down, or you can actually even take just the eye, eye pin. Is that what it's called? An eye pin? You can actually take that and glue it down right there. Um, either way, but I'm going to, I've already got one made. I'll show you with the um, eye pin, but I'm going to use the T-pin. Let me get my scrap out again, just so I don't get stuff on my black mat here. I'm just going to put some glue. I'm going to set my T-pin down right there. And then I'm going to put some glue over top of it. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put that right over top of there. Just like that. The T pen actually works better when you're doing something like this because it's got a larger surface. So let me grab a just I just grabbed a, a clip because I want to go ahead and let it dry before I mess with it any further. But let me show you the one that I made with the I pen. So it looks like this. But I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how close I can get there. See how it's just that little bitty, 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 bitty bit. And it is a little bit more wonky than the T-pin will be. But it, it does the same thing. So basically what I'm telling you is just use what you have. That you know, be the best thing to do. So there's that. And then here, let me show you a couple more. Uh, these were all made with I-pins. So these are the two little bitty, bitty white ones. Aren't they cute? Okay, so uh, while we've got these little pointy, which one's the pointiest? The T-pin is the pointiest. So let me show you something else. What did I do with them? So for demonstration purposes, we are just going to act like we are threading one of these little um, stick pins that we're making into some lace in our mini album. Right? And so let's say we did that. Um... Let's go up here look, so you can see better. All right, so let's say we did that. Well, this is extremely pointy. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants pointy. So if you go to the jewelry store and look around in their findings, not the jewelry store, but like a craft store, they'll have these little earring backs. They're just little slip-on earring backs. So then you can take one of those and just stick it on the backs or the pointy part of that stick pin and then no more pointy right and it also keeps it from coming out so if you didn't want to glue it down you could also use those to keep them from coming out so i just wanted to kind of point that out because when i used to make custom stuff when i put something sticky in there i definitely did not want sticky meaning pointy <laughs> i definitely did not want um, the person receiving the album to get poked. Do you know what I mean? So that's just a really easy, simple way to prevent pokey, pokiness. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to point that out to you guys really quick. And then it seems like there was, oh, oh, I was going to show you guys <laughs> how I made this little guy. And what did I use that with? I used, oh, okay. I used one of the, um, just the round tip ends. Here, I need to find it. Just one of these. So for this one, I used, these were just some beads that were on a ponytail holder or something. 
I'm not even 100% sure where I got it from, but either way, they work. So all I did was I started to build um, my little stick pin. So I just picked something. Um, you just use your stick pin to grab it. Just picked something, and then there's like, <clears throat> in this set of beads, there was some sparkly ones. Have I used them all? Well, here's one. I don't know why I want to use one of the sparkly ones, but I do. So, can you see that? Gonna have to do a lot of editing, I think. See how it's kind of sparkly? Okay. So, I used a sparkly one, and then I grabbed one of these beads. I think there's even two different colors in here. Well, they look the same in there. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna grab a bead, maybe. One of the colorful beads. And then I'm gonna grab a clear bead. And then another colorful bead. See, these got gigantic holes in them. Can you see that? I mean, you can even see that without me getting close. These got big holes in them, like that. Then we're gonna put another silver bead and a seed bead. Whoops. It's gotten under my finger now. There we go. And then um, we're gonna glue it just like we did the other one. I'm gonna use some glossy accents. And I'm just gonna stick a little bit I hope it's not too blurry. I'm just gonna stick a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna push that seed bead down onto that. I'm pretty sure it's a seed bead. Well, it might be a little bit bigger than a seed bead. I'm, I'm sure they have a name, but again, not a jewelry maker, so I don't really know. You can just stop there and leave it as is, and that's pretty all by itself, right? I did want to show you guys this one. It is so adorable and precious, right? So cute. But this one was kind of complicated and really not worth me doing, I guess. And it's not going to focus again. There we go. And, and <laughs> I kind of spent more time on this than I want to. So, but I'm going to show you why. Here, just, just hang on. I'm going to show you why. <laughs> These are beautiful. It's another string. I'm pretty sure I got these at Hobby Lobby. This is Fairy Tale um, brand by Bead Treasures. Well, these have four holes in the back. So I'm going to try to show you. The big one is the flower bead. So you see how it's got four holes? Well, I had to cut two of those holes off with some sharp, you know, plier type snippy things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, which is fine, but um, let me see if I can find the one of the ones that I did. Oh, this was the end one. This was at the end of the strand, but it only had two thingies on there, so I might be able to use this on a paper clip or something. But um, let me grab this other one again. So what I did there we go. I left two of them on and I clipped two of them off and it's kind of a little bit sharp, but again, it's cute. Um, and then I took, let me show you what I took. All of these wires will, will not bend, all of these stick pin type things. So sometimes you can get the shipping tags that have wire on them, which is awesome. So I just took one of those wires and I kind of threaded it through those two behind it and then just kind of made a stem. You know what I'm saying? Like just wrapped it around each other over and over and over and over and over again until I got that. So this is what I use to make this stick pin. So I guess if you've got time and you're just sitting around watching TV and you just want to make, you know, you just want to sit there and make a bunch, then these are pretty. They're very cute. And you can size this, you know, this, the stick part to whatever you want but that was just using something that was just laying over here left over from the, you know me taking it off the tags that I were using so that I were using that I was using <laughs> so I've got these I use these in the journal so I thought it would be fun 
to, let me take one off of the strand. This is, you know, timeline, I don't know what it says, Gilded Age timeline or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to open this jump ring here. And we have two different sets of pliers. Ooh, that's right, these are, let me switch this around. These are hard. Right here, and remove that off of there. Oh no, I wanna remove this off of there. And let's shut this back up so we don't lose it. So you're just twisting motion, you're not pulling. I just, I do know that. I do know that, that's like jewelry 101, right? So let me open this end up here. And where's my eye pin at? There it is. I'm thinking that's what it's called. I'm literally just gonna thread that on there. And close it up. And now we have a cute little dangly stick pin. So you could stick that out of the top of your book and it can be dangling um, at the top you know, on the top, or you can stick it out on the side if you just want it to, if you didn't want a paper clip, and you, but you want it something to dangle. So you could do something that simple. Let me show you another one I've made. Oh, my dog mark, might start barking. The mailman's here. And here's another one. Isn't that cute? Right? So easy. Simple, easy. Not hard to do at all. Okay, so while those are still drying, I want to show you one more thing. Um, let's do a little, couple little paper clips. So this is just your standard office paper clip. It's kind of a little wonky even, right? No big deal. So here's one of those pieces that I cut off of that um, rose thing. And it's got the two little um, holes or loops or whatever. So it's just as simple as threading that on there just like that if you wanted to do it that way or to give it a little bit more movement, maybe, you can put it on a jump ring. So let me find one. Then we are gonna put the paper clip on here and then we'll close it up. So now the paper clip has a little bit more movement to it and it's not so restricted. So clipping on your little tags and little extra something somethings into your mini albums, super easy when you have a cute little paper clip like that. So there's that, that's just a regular old paper clip. And then, you know, everybody knows these little mini Tim Holtz paper clips. I don't have them in a package, I just have them um, in a jar because I had a bunch of them so I just dumped them out in a cute little jar. So I'm pretty sure they're still available. So then I've got these sweet, sweet little bitty flat, I don't, they're not flat, they're, um, I'm guessing they're plastic, but they're little roses. Aren't they cute? And I, I wonder, did I use all of these already? I must have used, what was down there? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. So I have these. And I have these, I, I have used those, so I know where those went. So I've got both of these, and they're so sweet. So I'm gonna pick one of these that go with the collection uh, pretty well. Nope, not that color. Not that one, how about this one? So I'm gonna go with the softer one down here, and I'm just going to, they're held on by something, but I'm just gonna take my, whatever these are, that cut through that stuff and just snip the snip the bit right there. And I'm also gonna take one of these. Um, I'm gonna do this one. I'm just careful not to snip the jump ring there. And again, whoops, couldn't be any easier, except when you have fingernails. It is a little bit more tough. So you just slip it on one end, 
See, you just slip it on one end and then you got your cute, sweet, tiny little paper clip. I just think they're adorable. Okay, so let's do this one. There we go, I'm using my fingernail for that. Slip that on there. Isn't that cute? I mean, so sweet, so precious. So let me show you how I use the paper clips in my giveaway album. Um, like right here. Let me take this out. This is the side pocket insert. There is one of the dangly beads, and then you can see the paperclip part in the back. So it just adds a little extra something that makes it just adorable, but so simple. So you can take any bead that you have, or any charm, or any anything, which reminds me of a charm. I want to go ahead, I think this cute idea, while I've got all this stuff out, let me move this out of the way. You remember me showing you this little teacup charm? Isn't that cute? Well, I have an idea. And again, I'm going to snip this off of there. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to open it. I just, I have an idea. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to find the split somewhere on this charm. Can y'all even see? Is it even focused? Probably not. So I apologize for the um, bad <laughs> camera job here. So you remember, whoops, you remember how we put this um, chicken wire on the side of the album when we did the cover? I'm going to clip it onto there and I'm going to close it up. And I think. Oops, I better close it up a little better than that. It will fall off. Whoops, it went too far. See how I'm not a jewelry maker? I mean, I'm just not, you guys. So, I might have to end up putting some glue on that, but oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? So, it's just going to be dangling on the side there. So adorable. That is so cute. You know, since this paper collection is called Time for Tea, we needed a little teacup. So cute. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so, enough of the cutesy, adorable talk. Where are we at? Oh, we were here. So, let me show you. So here is um, the one we're talking about right now. And I'm hoping it's dry enough. I'm thinking it's dry enough. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, first I need another charm. Let's see. Let's use one of these, maybe. Um, well, all right, let's use one of these. It didn't, those colors didn't actually go with the pink that I was wanting. So I used a yellow one there. What if I used a green one? That might be too bright of a green. What color is that? Let's do clear. Let's do clear. Aren't they, these are great value. If you can get these at half off, which happens a lot, um, it's, so it would be $3 and you get nine pieces. I mean, tw this one's got 20 pieces. So I left it on the jump ring there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flat nose pliers here and I'm just going to guess. I'm going to go about an inch. That's, I, I guess. I'm just going to go about an inch and I'm going to make a bend in it just like that, right? Then I'm going to thread this charm here onto it like that and then I'm going to try to keep that in that bend and then I'm going to keep bending it back onto itself. Can you see that back onto itself like that? So now I'm going to hold it. I'm going to try to hold it. Oh, see the glue isn't dry all the way. Well, you want to wait till it dries. So then I'm going to take the flat part of my needle nose 
pliers here, or my flat nose, or whatever these are called. Again, not a jewelry maker. And I'm going to kind of flatten that end. Oh, oh, look what I did, you guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, it's not going to focus. I used the, part, the wrong part. I snipped it. See, that's why I don't make jewelry. That's why. All right, let's, let's start over. Let me get another one. So I got me a new one. I didn't glue it yet. I'll do that in a minute. I went ahead and threaded it back on there. I'm going to go down about an inch. Again, I'm going to bend it at a, what is that, a 90 degree angle, 45 degree angle, whatever. I'm going to thread, I'm going to say 90 degree. <laughs> I'm going to thread that on there. And I'm going to bend this some more towards itself. And then I'm going to be very careful this time. And I'm going to squish the two together just ever so slightly. Okay, so now that I'm down here at the bottom of this bead, I'm going to again, I'm going to take it and I'm going to make another angle like that. So this is kind of what we got. It kind of looks a little funny, but this is what we got. So I'm going to grab this side of it with my left hand and then I'm going to get the other, I, better sh I should probably maybe go a little closer. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to start wrapping it around. Like that. So then what I did, reposition it here. I'm pretty sure I just did like a little curly cue. So I'm just going to grab the end there. And I'm going to twirl it. And I'm going to let go, grab the end, and I'm going to twirl it. So now I got something that looks like this, right? Simple, right? So then what I did, I'm not going to do it on this one, but I'll have, I'll have to use it in a tag or something. Um, I laid it on here as flat as I could get it. I put Fabri-Tac on there and then I put this other trim over top of it with Fabri-Tac and kind of encased it in there. So it's kind of a stick pin but it's kind of not. Does that make sense? So let me bring it close, the one I've already glued on here, let me bring it close to you so you can see. So it's underneath this trim right here, but it's the same, it's the same thing as this. It's just trapped under the trim, okay? Does that make sense? So that's another cute little way to use your jewelry findings and things. Just be careful not to snip things. <laughs> oh my God, I did. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, just real quick, I'm gonna finish this little bow up. I'm just gonna take a little sticky back crystal. These happen to be from Stamp It Up, but I, I think I'm gonna have to, what size do I need? I'm gonna use one of the bigger ones. Why not? I've had these forever. I'm sure they're still available. I don't know. I haven't looked. So I'm just gonna stick a cute little crystal on there. And it just makes the most adorable accent embellishment. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these little ends up just a little bit. So what's cool about these, and I know I've talked about this before in the mini albums, is that since you're so close, it's going to be tough. You can stick things in, tuck things in little different places, and you don't have to glue it down so you can still... Let me find my scrap. So you can still slide things underneath it. So that's kind of why I like the stick pin thing. You know, you could stick, not, not this one, but you could stick things, you know, in little slits that you've made. Or you can tuck things. Like even, um, obviously, while you're making things, you can, you can glue things down in. You can't even see what I'm doing. Like you can stick them out of the top. It's just cute. You can stick them. Like I feel like, that the bow, there might be a bow that lives there. Maybe not right there, but I feel like there's going to be one that's going to be on this page. A stick pin, a bow. I mean, I just think it's adorable. So again, you can still slide things underneath it. So if you want to do like a little tag, 
under there. It's not glued down, but it will be secure because you'll glue the end down if you want. Super simple, not hard to do at all. You really don't need that much. Uh, let me pull my thing over here of all my little stick pins. Um, it's just really not hard at all. And you just need very little supplies. I know this one is gigantically long, but again, you can cut those off. No big deal, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Oop. <laughs> Where's my, uh, oh, there it is. And then I've got this one, my cute little bow. Oh, that one I can't stick in, but, and then the paper clips. So, right, look at all those. So if you just make a bunch, then you'll have a bunch ready to go. Like these, I just used some of that silver uh, beads that were on that strand. No big deal, there's some crystals, some, uh, what are they called, rose quartz. There's some rose quartz um, beads right there. And then the purple one is actually amethyst beads. So, you know, just get your stuff out and just get to playing and just have fun. And if you don't have any stick pins or anything like that, and you have wire, you know, use your wire, like, you know, the jewelry gauge wire, use that. Or, you know, on your chicken wire, you can just dangle some things on the end of it. Do we have anything in the, I don't think we have anything. We do have one page here that we could possibly dangle. What could we dangle? What could we dangle? Let's see. Just for demonstration, let's dangle something from the chicken wire. Or could we dangle something from it? No, I think it'd be cute dangling from the bottom. Um, what can I dangle? Oh, what about, what about maybe one that actually has a thingy on it? I can dangle one of those pieces. You think that'd be cute? Let's try it. <laughs> Do you guys think I'm nuts? It's okay. So again, sometimes we overthink things and make things harder than they need to be. So this is just the simplest little accent embellishment ever. Maybe not ever, but just slide it in one of those little loops that I made. This was the first page that, whoa, the first page that we made in the mini. In case you're curious and want to go, ah, hang on. Let me see what I need to do here. I'm probably going to have to put a dab of glue. Uh, I need to close it for one, right? I didn't have it closed all the way. In you go. Let's try this again. I don't have... I don't have steady enough hands for this either, but that's okay too. So there, so now we got just a little something something dangling from the edge of that chicken wire. Isn't that cute? So catch the, catch these stores when they have, um, when they have their stuff, their beads on sale, because you can get a lot of cute little packs of things like this, for example, that you can use these for everything. I mean, they're adorable. So, okay. So I think that's, that's all I got. <laughs> and so I hope you guys don't find this video too confusing and I hope you try to make some of these cute little uh, metal embellishments um, using probably things that you already have at your house. Um, you probably don't have to buy another thing. You probably got paper clips, you probably got stick pins, you've probably got wire, you've probably got beads, you've probably got it all. Um, so, so anyway, I hope you guys give it a try. And, so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. And let me know what you think in the description box below. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh, already. Go ahead and hit that circle that's right there. <laughs> and then check out the other videos that are on your screen and I will see you guys next time. Bye.